Hi guys, it's John with Planet Tech, and today we're going to be doing uh, a completely new series with just Construct 3. So pretty much anything and everything that you can do with Construct 3, um, we're going to be pretty much doing. So in this case, it's just a menu. And a lot of people are like, it's just a menu. Um, just putting out a tutorial just for those people who are going to need it if you run Construct 2. A, you'll pretty much get it if you just want something that's straight up construct three you know you, you're not coming from construct you come from game maker unity or whatever you just download this give this a shot this will help you so literally all i have right now and i've literally labeled everything so this is going to be better than my construct two tutorial series is i have a layout um so i i named them like layout one studio so that's basically you're like your studio branding. So it's, it'd be like, uh, you know, Rogue Planet for my studio. In this case, it's just called Studio. And then I have Studio 2, or Layout 2 Menu, uh, which is just the menu. And we have a couple options here, which we're going to get to in a little bit. And then we have Layout 3, which is the video game, which is going to be the next part. And we're going to go into an actual, like, little mini game. So it's not going to be... Uh, cut up into a whole bunch of like a hundred million little parts it's going to be different parts but fully enveloped videos um okay so let's get straight to the actual tutorial now each layout actually does have its event event sheet you're going to need that um also everything in here is actually going to be um uh you're going to be able to you know recreate and all that stuff so we have the layout one, the studio logo. Um, it's really, really simple. I, you just, you know, go insert object and you insert a, either a sprite or a tiled background. Usually I go with a sprite. Uh, try to find something that's, try to create um, an image that's HD so you can scale it relatively well. Uh, this one is just an image off the internet and I actually had to, um, do a uh, effect on it to sharpen it so it, it would make it a little bit cooler because it was actually kind of blurred out um, and then we go to layout 2 I'm going to clean this up just a little bit alright so we have layout 2 and we have event sheet 2 one second kind of getting ahead of myself All right, layout 1 the studio the only thing that you're going to be able to uh, that you want to do for that is on start of layout so create event system create start on start of layout we're going to add an action we're going to wait two seconds so put in two done add action system uh, go to layout, go to system menu, boom, done. That's how we do it. Don't need that. And it's going to wait two seconds and it's going to go to, to layout two. All right, so we're done with that. We're going to go now to layout two. And here's layout two. So uh, the sprites and everything that I use are going to be linked down below. Uh, it's just if you go to opengameart.com, you go to search box, search box, and you type in Kenny, so K E N N Y. These created a huge amount of like free assets that you can use for anything that you want, you know, private, uh, commercial, all that type of stuff. And so uh, I used um, a bunch of his sprites for this, so you guys can be able to use it in whatever way that you want, and you can recreate this. Um, you, and get your feet wet. I have a literally uh, a simple box, the simple GUI with the Construct 3 logo. I have three buttons here with three text. So um, text, text, text. These texts actually don't do anything. They're just static, which means uh, rather than be dynamic, interactable, it's static. It just is what it is. Um, these buttons, though, are dynamic. So they actually have two functions. They have a on button, which as you can see right here, is a completely square box. And then when you click on it, it's actually gonna have a, a half gray box in the middle. And that's literally the same thing throughout all of them. And all I did to clone them was I clicked on it, click right, and then 
clone object type. You click that, it's just going to duplicate it. Uh, sometimes you want to do that for stuff that's like has AR or whatever, makes it a whole lot easier, but it creates a separate object. It just clones everything from it. Uh, like all your animations and everything. So say you have three or four different bad guys, you don't want to copy paste, copy paste. It's to clone the entire object type. Uh, load, exit, exactly same thing. Down here I have, uh, I wanted to keep it really simple, so I went with a simple uh, coding project. Um, so we have our sound on and sound off button. They're, they run two different variables. I know some people are like, use one button. Um, you know, if you're running a mobile project, you do whatever you're going to do. So off and on. I kind of like that. And the code behind this, now this is where we have a little bit more code than the first one. This is where we get into my type of realm of, like, you know, uh, a couple hundred lines of code. All right, so I try to label everything specifically so it's a whole lot better than my construct 2 layout um you know practice makes perfect we are going to need one global numbers uh or variable and so what you're going to do to add that in case you have never done that is you want to click right add a global variable you want to name it you want to set it to a number string or boolean i did a number you want to set that number and you can describe uh, you can add a description so in this case um let's just since we don't need another one, I'm just going to edit this one. So it's going to say sound uh, menu sound controller. It's going to be static. Uh, I don't need it to be constant, so that's good. Menu sound controller, boom, right there. So automatically, I love how that does that. GUI. So what I mean by GUI is that all any like menu systems so like you know the uh the background or any of the buttons mostly interactive buttons so on left cl button clicked on sprite 4 i actually should be naming these uh so sprite 4 is the play button um yeah so play button load button exit button and then the exit button So on left click on the play button, we're going to set the uh, frame. So we're going to, instead of playing an animation, so it's like one, two, three, four, you know, it plays it. We're automatically going from zero, one. It's like an off and on switch. So we're going to set the animation. So boom. So we're going to go to action. We're going to go to the buttons or the play button. We're going to set frame. So instead of set animation, we're going to go to set frame and we're going to say whether it's a zero or one. Okay. So zero. Or one so zero means that it's in the neutral phase and one phase and one is in the action phase so being clicked on and then what's going to happen is that we're going to go to system go to layout so we already saw that in the studio um, screen where you click on a button and it goes to the next layout in this case we're going to go to layout or layout three underscore game on left click on the load button we're going to load um uh yeah it's going to load a frame just like from the play button however this one's blank because we don't have a game to load from um however i mean what we could do is have it automatically load from the studio screen i'm not going to do that yet i'm going to wait till we actually get to the game we're going to have a character a whole like a little mini game we're going to hit like a loading action uh, or different parts of them to show loading actions whether that be a do you want to save this uh, now and save it or you know a checkpoint system and then we're going to load from there so we're, we're going to get back to this in a little bit right now it's just you know basic right now on left button release we're going to set the animations for um uh, I mean, what we could have done is also done in else. However, I can't find that right now. Um, but else, uh, what I, I would have done is like on left click, load button, else set, you know, this uh, object's animation to zero. But on this case, it's just on left button release, we're going to set the animation to zero. Um, and then actually should be on the bottom. Boom, there we go. Okay. And then what we have is the unleft button clicked on exit button. That exits the game. 
whether you are in Android, iOS, web, or a Windows-based platform. So I'm going to say that real quick. Um, custom mouse. So I do actually have a custom mouse. So on every tick, it's going to set cursor. So we're going to go there. We're going to need a mouse. Set cursor from sprite. And it's going to show us what we can select from. Um, okay. Oh, also, guys, real quick. If we cl right click, we can insert an object. So this is a whole bunch of stuff. Create new object. So... Um, or plugins that you can put into your game. So like local storage, a dictionary, a button, file chooser, a slider, progress bar. We may be using that in the game. Uh, light shadow, a sprite of course, video, user media, geolocation, touch, gamepad, and so forth, including monetization. We'll also get, get be getting into that because that's actually heavily requested on my Chuck 2 videos. Um, okay, so uh, we move we were on custom mouse. Uh, menu music. Okay, so on my menu, I am running music. You know, a simple loop track, just to, uh, you know, some atmosphere. So system on start of layout, we're going to play some audio. And how we do that actually is to import audio is we go to music. We're going to right click, import music. We click this, it's going to go into your actual like system driver and then you can select the music that you want and it's going to convert it to whatever it's going to be. In this case, I have an MP3 or you can, as you can, as you saw, you can drag and drop. Um, we're going to set uh, the sound to zero. Um, uh, la, la, la. A left click. All right, go, uh, I had to uh, step out for a second, guys. Okay, so on our sound system menu, so it's under custom mouse, I'd actually delete some stuff that I didn't no longer needed. And so for our entire uh, music system, so on start, we're going to play our automation. It's the name of this music. We're going to set it looping. We're going to set the uh, um, set sound to zero, our global variable. On left click of the GUI button, so in case mute. And on mute. So on left click on mute, we're gonna set sound to zero. So we no longer need that. Uh, on left click on the unmute button, we're going to set sound to 1. So if sound equals 0, we're going to set to silent. And then if it sound equals 1, so sound equals variable 0, no music, no sound, no, nothing. It's perfectly quiet. On sound equals 1, we're going to set it not silent. So it's going to be unmuted and we're going to hear music. On start of layout, we're going to set uh, sound to one so it's gonna be like okay you're gonna hear music you don't want to hear music you click mute so we're gonna actually just play this so try it again okay so we go here boom so we have our button uh, here it works we're gonna hit, uh, if we hit the play button we're gonna hit in a couple seconds here we go with a mute and on mute mute on mute we hit exit it's gonna exit out of that um, entire window and then if we hit play so we're gonna hit play so we're gonna go try again it's gonna load it up we hit play boom there you go okay so one last time we're gonna go to our studio try it again boom there you go and there you go it went straight to the menu we're gonna hit play there you go. Now it's a simple one. Uh, we're gonna make, make some more complex ones, uh, and a little bit to where you know we fade transitions, and then move on from there. But uh, you know, it's a little bit of a rough start with this video. Uh, hopefully, the rest get a, a whole lot better. Um, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, comment down below on what type of stuff you want to move. This one's gonna be basically a platformer, and we'll move on from there to some sort of like space explorer or treasure hunter game or whatever. Just like a basic series on Construct 3, 
it's you know it's relatively easy to get into but sometimes you need like there's now so much more like stuff they, they construct to and it's also available through any html powered web browser also they do have a chrome powered exe executable that's what i'm running on so i'm not running through a web browser um and it just stores everything in chrome and there you go or your, your local computer's html file i believe so uh, again thanks uh for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye